Hi guys, my name is Ioana Galan and I'm a student in marketing management and today I will talk about my media detox day on this vlog. Well, one thing that I want to make clear is that it was one of the worst days of my life. I was super bored the whole day. I wasn't allowed to do basically anything that I'm doing every day. And the worst impact I had was in the morning. Well, the first thing is that I anticipated my boredom. So I said, well, today there's not going to be any alarm uh, because I knew I was going to get bored. I talked to one of my friends who was always also doing the um, media detox. And we said that we're going to meet around 3 p.m. So I said, well, there's no point in putting an alarm. I woke up, um, I ate some cereal, which I prepared from the night before. They were in a ball in my room. They were waiting for me. And, um, well, I ate those cereals and I was so bored. I was so bored. And I started humming, okay? I also forgot to tell my mom that for one day she's not gonna be able to get to reach me. So basically my mom freaked out the whole day. For me it was fun, for her not so much. Um, one thing that I really missed, really, really missed during this media detox day, I, ho I, I thought that it would have been Facebook. I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna miss Facebook so much. Well, guess what? No, I missed music. I missed music so much. It was like, I don't know, like life without music is just too dull. After I finished eating, um, I thought, what next? And I was like, oh yeah, well, I should clean my room, which is, yeah, always messy. So I started cleaning my room. I cleaned everything, dust, um, clothes, everything. And then at some point, I wanted to go out and meet my friend. So we were like, we didn't get a meeting. We forgot. We forgot to say, where are we going to meet? So yeah, basically, <laughs> I had to meet my friend. It was something like half past two, but <clears throat> we forgot to set up a place to meet. So I was like, what am I going to do? What if we don't find each other? What if I go to hers and she comes to mine and then we just don't meet? So I decided to stay in my room until she comes. <laughs> I got really lucky because uh, she came really, really soon. She came like, I think one hour after maximum because she figured out the same thing and she thought the same thing. So it was really good. Well, after that, we went out on the filed steps. And there we encountered some media without even wanting to because there, there were a bunch of kids listening to some music. Yeah, we stayed there. We cheated a bit. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we studied for marketing, which is kind of an irony because we were in our media detox day, but we studied for marketing, yeah. Basically, what I've realized is that like, in the last few years, my days have been really small like i wake up and i feel like i haven't done i don't have the time to do anything and well in this day i thought it was too long it was too long there was nothing to do there was nothing to do i i couldn't listen to music i couldn't check facebook i couldn't talk to my friends i couldn't talk to my parents i couldn't read a book it was really really harsh really harsh it also had a great impact on me because i realized you wanna you're addicted i'm addicted i'm addicted and i'm not addicted to media i'm addicted to the 21st century because now the media is somehow our fifth limb we use it we use it too much we use it more than we should use it every information goes through there first we use it on when we do our homework we use it when we check with when we talk with our friends we do it when we talk with our parents we do it when we we do it all the time and i think that 
this media detox made me realize this. Like, yeah, um, I was aware in all about the power of media. I was aware um, that I needed my phone the whole day, the whole day, I swear. So what did I do? I just shut off my phone. I shut down it and I put it in the drawer so that I cannot find it. And while I was on the, I went with my friend on the five steps, yeah. And while we were there, I swear, every five minutes, I would just check my pockets. Where's my phone? I would go mad. And then I would realize, oh, my phone's in my room. My phone's in my room. And I've caught myself a lot of times just checking my phone, but not checking it actually, because I wasn't looking. I just, I don't know, that feeling. I need to have my phone with me. I need to keep it with me. It's my phone. And for me that day, was I don't know it made me realize how can I how I knew I had my phone here it's just the need to feel it the need to have it the need to connect and I was I was outside I was with my friend I opened my eyes I opened my eyes now I know I knew before as well but I never actually never actually felt it I thought I can get rid of it I thought I don't actually need it but I do I would say I'm gonna get rid of it, like I'm not gonna use media anymore, but I know that's not true. I know I know I can't, because it's not just me, it's everyone. We've come to a point in which media is so vital, it's so needed that if you don't know how to use it or if you don't use it, you're the weird one. You're the one who's not okay, you're the one who's not fitting in. So. My conclusion is, yeah, it was hard. And yeah, I needed media. But now I realize that at some point we exaggerate. We take it over the top. We do it too much. So it's not like I'm never going to use media again. I can't. That's impossible. I can't. I'm using media right now, <laughs> my god, but I'll try and limit it, I'll try and limit it, I'll try and make myself better, I'll try and disconnect from Facebook every once in a while, or delete my Twitter app, or just stop checking Instagram every five minutes, yeah. To wrap it up, um, thank you for watching. My plan was to make something funny, but apparently I'm not such a funny person, so. <laughs> but, well, as a conclusion to all that I've said here, no media at all is too harsh. It's impossible. But limitate your media. Try it. Try it once, but limitate your media. Um, stop, stop being so addicted. Stop using it every minute of every second of every day. Start going out. Start understanding your friends. Start talking. Laugh. Joke. I don't know. Study. Do whatever. But do it interpersonal. Do it while the person is near you. Do it with people, not computers. Do it verbally, not by texting. So, yeah. Other than this, I have no idea what else to say. So, I'll just wrap it up. Well, thanks for watching. And um, this is for my MCS 101 assignment, assignment 4. And, yeah.